Hello and welcome. Please pause this video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Let's start um, by reading this problem together. Guy and Jim work at a furniture store. Guy has paid $185 okay, per week, okay, plus 3%, that's 0 0.03, of his total sales in dollars X. So this is, X is the sales in dollars. Gonna, I like to label things as I go. You don't need to read everything at once when you read these problems, right? You're, you you want to break these things down so you understand what's happening. This is the uh, percentage he gets, he gets, based on sales, okay? And this is what's called base pay. It's the amount that you're, you're guaranteed to be paid, regardless of the sales you get. Uh, it can be represented by, okay, and here's their function. Notice they wrote the same thing as me. They're saying it's g of x, though. They're calling it that. Um, so I'm going to say g of x is his total pay. Total, um, yeah, total pay. Based on x, the input, on sales. All right, so that's, how, that's how, this is for guy, right? So notice I'm reading this slowly. I'm breaking it apart. I'm labeling things. That's really normal. Uh, we, don't, we don't have to rush past all this stuff. Now, this other person, Jim, a little different, right? Paid $275 per week, $275, uh, plus 0.025% of the sales, and that equals F of X. So actually, we don't need to rewrite everything. We have the same things. Base pay, percentage based on sales, sales in dollars, and total total sales based on X. Two different ways of saying the same thing. Determine the value X in dollars that will make their weekly pay the same. All right, so the key word here is, phrase here is the same. For things to be the same, that means they're mathematically equivalent. So what's really beautiful about these equations right here is you can basically find when they're equal by setting them equal to each other and solving for X. So F of X equals G of X. Isn't that awesome? We can just set them equal to each other, solve for X, and we'll know exactly when they're the same. So let's just set everything up. For g of x, we have 185 plus 0.03x. And for f of x, we have 275 plus 0.025x. So just solve for x and you're done. So take 185 from both sides. We don't have to do that as a first step, but that's going to help me. Okay. So 185 minus itself is 0, so we have 0.03x left on the right side. Uh, 75, 85, I'm counting distance to 200 is 75, and another 15 is 90, so this equals 90, plus 0.025x. At this point, I'll get my x on the same side, so we minus 0.025x, 0.025x. Okay, this cancels out to zero. We have 90 equals what? Well, this subtraction we can do in a number of ways. I'm just going to write it out over here on the side in, in pink. I do like pink. Um, so here, 0 0.030, I got the other zero so I can line things up, minus 0 0.025. Okay, so cancel, borrow. They have 10 minus 5 is 5, 2 minus 2 is 0, 0. Okay, this makes sense. It's kind of like 25 plus 5 is 30. Right, it fits. So 90 equals 0.005x. All right. So we have to solve this. We could use a calculator, but I, I don't want to do that. Uh, I want to solve it out if I can. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a thousand. That will bring my decimal over here to keep things in proportion. It's going to be 5x, and here by a thousand is 90 thousands. Now I divide both sides by five. Right. Okay. So what's x going to equal? 5 divided by 5 is 0, so we have x. Well, I know that 5 times 20 is 100. Okay, so that means that every 100 we have in something, we have 25s. So how many hundreds are in 90,000, right? Well, um, the nice easy way to think about this is that these cancel these 10s out. And the answer is 900. So we have 920s. 900 times 20. It's just me playing with number sense. 9 times 2 is 18, uh, but it's really, right, there'd be three zeros after that. 1, 2, 3, 
So the answer is 18000 Whoa. $18,000. So the answer would be, and might have, you might want to write the units here. I think it's kind of important. $18,000. And just to check, because I make mistakes all the time. Um, that's okay. We want to learn from our mistakes, right? 90000 or 90 divided by, sorry, we'll go back to this original one, 0 0.005. And there it is, $18,000. So $18,000, you could plug into both. If you plug 18000 for x into either equation, you'll get the same output, right? Um, and that's it.